Uh, my name is Srikant Markunda, but people used to call me as Sri when I was there in uh, IIT. And some other people call, used to call me with my surname as Markunda. <laughs> it was all a, a lot of fun, actually. I did my master's um, in chemical engineering and uh, um, in a batch of 97, 98, and came out in 99 Jan. That's uh, what my uh, whole journey in IIT was all about. And um, um, to, to be um, precise, like, okay, look, actually, my background was more from a middle class family when I started uh, my entire education. And especially from a teaching background family, my dad uh, worked as a teacher, he's a retired teacher, as well as my uncles. So we have a lot of, lot of attachment with educational institutions and um, teaching side of the world. That's why actually when I love to be still associated with um, teaching and helping the staff in various universities as well, even currently. So I, uh, in, in uh, within IIT, I stayed in Brahmaputra Hostel and um, I loved the life in there. It's fantastic actually, especially playing cricket outside the hostels that on one side, apart from all the studies. And inside actually we use it to do all these table tennis as well as caroms and a lot of fun with friends. It's fantastic life, can't complain. And it's a great experience. And in terms of, um, you call it as from the point of um, combination of developing the skills, not only from academics point of view, but also like okay, understanding and working or in a way like okay, look at as a group with various other students and staff, that itself like okay, it's a great journey because um, sitting, getting a chance to sit and work in, in between a lot of good intellectuals is not a small thing, it's a great thing. That's what I have to say, thanks to IIT for giving me that opportunity. And uh, on fun side, it was even fantastic, like um, going to these OATs, like open air theaters, watching the movies on one side and, uh, and uh, looking at the nature in the uh, uh, side of the aspect of IIT, like um, sit there and have a good relaxation by having a, a good uh, uh, um, a break uh, in between the classes and then uh, looking into the deers and it's a fantastic world actually I think so I, I, I really love that actually to be honest and um, that's where I felt that okay look actually the life that I um, learned what I learned before IIT versus what I learned during IOT and after IIT I think it's humongous that's that's exactly where I can say like okay it's very good yeah So after IIT, actually, I think, see, um, I think it was a very good learning and in IIT. And what it taught me was um, how to see the world in a different way, rather than trying to see like only from the academics way. So of course, actually, as any student, actually, I think the first step that I took was like, okay, to secure a job and then try excelling in that. And then I went to the campus interviews, got selected. And um, I, in, in TCS, I think that was the first job when I joined and uh, I, I went into TCS and then from there I moved on into Wipro and I relocated to UK for about five years. And so that's exactly where I started seeing like a look actually how to bring the synergies between what you learn and how to implement that in the industry. Because I studied in chemical engineering, I moved in into software side. And it's a huge learning. And I was put in, in an area like, okay, to work on regulatory side of energy and utilities um, industry. So I started contributing a lot actually in that space in Europe for about five years. And it was, it was a great journey in Europe. And there, um, a lot of learning from the point, like, okay, not only like how to apply the knowledge that we have acquired, but also like, okay, look, actually how to do the business in an environment where you need to show excellence in every aspect, not just from the uh, subject point of view. That's exactly where my first five years went through like, okay, look, actually a lot of learning and implementation of my ideas. And after that, I came back to uh, India and um, I started Verizon in uh, Hyderabad. Um, Verizon was there before that actually in Chennai and I started in uh, Hyderabad. And, I contributed a lot actually for that company in telco by running their entire metrics and analytics uh, practice. And I used it to travel a lot between US and uh, India for that purpose. And it was a lot 
to work with telco industry telecommunications and bringing the first uh, set of initiatives in technology innovation in a company like Verizon was a very good experience and after Verizon actually Infosys asked me to start their practice in advanced analytics and big data in Australia that's where I came here to Australia and I came here around 2007 2008 around that time and since then I'm here and I worked with them for about five, six years. And then I was headhunted by another company as a CTO. And I worked there as a CTO in um, building innovative products in big data space and machine learning and artificial intelligence. So after working there for about a few years, I thought, okay, look, actually I have seen the whole world of services companies and customers like telcos and into the areas like product companies as a CTO. Look, what should I do actually? I think I felt like, okay, look, it's, it's the time actually for me to implement um, all the ideas and experience that I have gathered in my own way. And let me start my own company. That's what I actually started Logan around four, four and a half years ago. And um, that, that's where exactly the journey has started. And um, we built a new product called Enigma. That's what you can see on the screen, which is all about the behavior of any kind of a data whatever is happening in the world. That's exactly what we took as a starting point in a way that, okay, look, actually we can identify how people are thinking, how people are acting, how the data is saying, everything we blended into a platform with the help of Google. And now um, we release that product actually to the market and we are working with them with various customers. That's the journey where we are at at this point. In addition to that, I also uh, went into this uh, entrepreneurship and started a couple of other companies. One of the companies called Electrogenics, which is a complete transformation of how the radiation industry is working today to treat the patients of cancer. So the problem is like, okay, in radiation industry, if you really look at, um, people either die because of radiation that is given to the cancer patients because of excess radiation, or underdosing kills people because of um, not enough radiation was given. So it's a challenge. So actually we are now bringing a technology with the help of one of the universities in Australia. They did a research in the last 10 years with uh, over 30 PhDs. And they have, um, uh, they have in, uh, invented a new technology which can precisely um, identify like okay, what is the dose that is being um, targeted to any kind of an organs in the body and which tells that okay look actually whether the organ is going to damage with this amount of radiation or what and that is what the technology we are commercializing and launching it in the market actually that's another one so uh, like that a couple of other organizations but that's in summary like okay where I am at this point So I think there are a couple of uh, areas. Maybe I think um, one is, of course, um, IIT might be doing a lot of research and we wanted to see like, okay, how to tap the research that you are doing in a way that, okay, that is useful to the industry. And at the same time, we are doing a lot of research on the industry side. When it, especially when it comes to the artificial intelligence and machine learning, where I'm working with a few universities, even in Australia, the biggest gap is, the industry is running too fast when compared with academics in the research in artificial intelligence side, be it any of the top companies. So they are trying to say like, okay, look, actually we are faster than the actual research that is coming from the institutes and they are trying to bring that actually. So there is a huge gap in entire machine learning side, artificial intelligence side of what institutes are offering versus what the companies are adopting. So if we can fill that gap, that would be really good means what is that industry is looking for and what is the research that okay, the uh, institutes are doing. That, that entire combination is very exact. I think it is very useful whether you wanted to get in touch with me or I wanted to get in touch with you from my IT point of view, because we are doing a lot of things which might be very good, whereas you are doing a lot of things which might be very good to the industry. So is there any synergy that we can bring together so that either we can commercialize something which is very useful from your side or the other way is exactly where I think, which is very useful. And on top of that, I'm always um, happy for anyone to approach me because 
I'm, I'm nothing but another senior to the people over there, actually, <laughs> especially to the students. So they can always contact me and I'm happy to mentor them if anyone is interested in their career path and I'm happy to support in any way, actually, whatever is required for the Institute because it has given me a lot and um, I'm very happy to return that. 